know how to tell you this, but I gotta tell you. I'm not going to Papa's funeral. Boy, wash your mouth. That's your daddy you talking about. I don't want to hear that kind of talk this morning. I didn't raise you to come to this. You standing there all healthy and going talking about you ain't going to your daddy's funeral? Mama, I don't want to just... hear it, Corey. Just get that thought out of your head. I got to say no to him. One time in my life, I got to say no. I don't got to listen to that. Now, I know you and your dad ain't seen eye to eye, but I don't have to listen to that kind of talk this morning. Disrespecting your dad ain't going to make you a man, Corey. You got to find some way to come to that on your own. Not going to your daddy's funeral ain't going to make you a man. The whole time I was growing up living in his house, Papa was like a shadow that followed you everywhere. It weighed on you and it sunk into your flesh. It would wrap around you and lay there until you couldn't tell which one was you anymore. That shadow just was digging into your flesh, I'm trying to crawl in, trying to live through you. Everywhere I looked, I saw Troy Maxson staring right back at me, hiding under the bed, in the closet. I'm just saying, I gotta find a way to get rid of that shadow, mama. You just like him. You got him and you good. Don't tell me that, mama. You Troy Maxson all over I don't want to be Troy Maxson. I just want to be me. You can't be nobody but who you are, Corey. That shadow wasn't nothing but you growing into yourself. You either got to grow into it or cut it down to fit you, but that's all you got to make life with. That's all you got to measure yourself against the world out there. Your daddy wanted you to be everything he wasn't. And at the same time, he wanted you to be everything he was. Now, I don't know if he was right or wrong, but I do know he meant to do more good than he meant to do harm. Sometimes when he touched, he bruised, and sometimes when he took me in his arms, he cut. When I first met your daddy, I thought, here's a man I can lay down with and make a baby. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought when I seen him. I thought, Rosalie, here's a man you can open yourself up to and be filled to bursting. Here's a man that can fill up all them empty spaces you've been tipping around the edges of. 